everybody. Hi there, my name is Eunice. While we wait for the rest of our viewers to tune in, I'm so excited to be here. My name is Eunice. I will, we will be starting at 8 p.m. sharp. Hi everybody, if you're tuning in, my name is Eunice. I'm so excited to be here. We're in collaboration with the Olive Tree today. I'm so excited to be here. Thank you for tuning in. I'm also tuning in on my other device, so I'll make sure to, to check out your comments and feedbacks. I would love to hear how you're doing. Select an emoji to best describe how you're feeling today. It could be a food emoji, it could be an animal emoji. I would love to see what you have. I'm waiting for my device to go on live too. Well, my emoji for today is the emoji of the fireworks where I feel super excited because I'm collaborating with the Olive Tree. Once again, thank you Olive Tree for collaborating with me. I'm so excited to have you here with me. Quick backstory, the Olive Tree company actually started in 2015. The founder, Hong Mei, um, was trying to find a solution to help heal her son's eczema. And so she started building her own plant-based products and vegan products to help her son's eczema. And the olive tree grew to what it is today because of her love and her passion for her son. So thank you so much, Homie, for sharing these products with us. Once again, if you're tuning in, select an emoji to best describe how you're feeling. My emoji is the fireworks, so I'm bursting with excitement. I have my device here, so I'm gonna check out what you have commented so that I can feedback with you. Hi, oh, let me just tune this off. Hi, Grace, nice, so excited. Hi, Song Hui, I'm so excited to see you. Thank you, Darren, for tuning in. Once again, I have the Olive Tree in collaboration for today. We have a couple of products here. So we have their mini diffuser, it's really portable and really easy to come, uh, really easy to move about. I also have their Damask Rose Floral Facial Mist. I love this. My dad was using this and my sister was using this yesterday. I love the smell because it's so refreshing and it has a rose extract which I absolutely love. I also have their cute little tumbler. It's a navy kind of earthy green. I have my chamomile tea. Make sure to drink and hydrate yourself throughout your day. And last but not least, I have their Clarity Essential Oil. For those of you who are tuning in, you might want to uh, know this, you know, for later on. <laughs> the three key ingredients in the Clarity Essential Oil are Damask Rose, Sandalwood, and Bergamot. So these are the three key ingredients that you should, you know, want to take down for later on. I'm so excited. Thank you for those of you who are tuning in. I'm just, I'm just, hi my, hi Mel. Nice to meet you all. The Tumblr is adorable. I absolutely love it. Thank you for all of you guys who are tuning in. I love your emojis, so much hearts and fire burning. I feel the excitement, Michelle. Thank you for tuning in. So um, let's begin assembling our vegan cookie dough. I'm really excited. So let's move on to the kitchen island real quick. I have my helper cameraman with me. So we are gonna to move to the kitchen island for our vegan cookie dough. First up, let me just wash our hands. It's so important for us to wash our hands and make sure it's clean. A lot of people, a lot of people ask me, is it really hard being vegan in Malaysia? I would say it's not that hard and it's not impossible. And they always ask me too, is the vegan diet really expensive? Isn't it really expensive? I would say if you are following a strict Western vegan diet where all the ingredients are imported from like America, London, Australia, or European countries, then yeah, what I highly recommend and suggest to you is use your local ingredients. So we have a lot available to you like tempeh, tofu, we have the legumes, grains, and lentils, all these are available at your local store. So go to your local store and use them. We have here, ta-da, we have the seven ingredient vegan no-bake cookie dough. So we have the almond flour, coconut flour, maple syrup, or gula malacca syrup, you can use this, or opt no liquid sweetener salt, vegan chocolate, and coconut oil. 
So after we post up the IGTV live, you can put the recipe in there for you to check it out. So first up, let us put our flowers. I'm just looking at your feedback. Oh, hi, Chloe. Hi, Nadia. I'm so excited. Hi, hi, Nicole. I'm so excited for you guys to tune in. Let's first put in our uh, almond flour and coconut flour in a big bowl. Judith, how about using all-purpose flour? Hi, Dad. Um, so if you guys don't know, my dad is the one behind the camera. Dad, you want to say hi? Hi, everybody. Have fun. <laughs> my dad is helping me today. Thank you, Dad. So we don't use all-purpose flour because it's not edible when it's raw. We only eat um, uh, we only eat flours that are edible at raw. So like nut flours, almond flour, walnut flour. You can also use rolled oats and blend it in a food processor like this, and then you get a a oat flour and nuts and seed flour. Right now, I'm just putting the maple syrup in, and then we're gonna put some salt. The recipe is going to post it on later on, so don't worry about it. And we're just going to scoop it up with a spatula like this. I love tempeh too, Nicole. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'm so excited that you all have showed up today. So I'm just mixing it all together. And eventually, can, you can do this with your kids too. Eventually going in with your, with your hands. So we'll just make the dough. So a lot of people also ask me, like, what is the difference with vegetarian and vegan? So vegetarian and both vegan do not eat meat. However, vegans go the extra step of avoiding any exploitations and avoiding any cruelty done to animals. So any animal byproduct, for example, milk from cows or eggs, from chickens or honey from bees, like the, uh, vegans do not consume those, whereas vegetarians do. So I'm just gonna make it like a dough, using my hands, really going in. It's gonna look something like this. And then I'm also gonna pour in my vegan chocolate. Pour in. Just really mix it up. Hi, Chloe, thank you for joining in. We're gonna make our cookie dough base. Is really diving in. Once again, thank you Olive Tree for sponsoring this session. Quick story time if you guys are just tuning in. The company, the Olive Tree started in 2015 by Hong Mei. She, her son was suffering from eczema and she wanted to find solutions to help heal her son with eczema. So she started making this plant-based vegan harmful chemical free products to help with her son and she started sharing it with her friends and family. And the olive tree grew to what it is today because of her love and her passion for her son. So thank you, Hongmei, for sharing your passion with us. Alrighty, so it's gonna look something like this, cookie dough, and then I'm gonna transfer it into a tray. Alright, you can transfer it into a tray like this. Oops, put this one away. And then using a spatula, I'm just gonna press it down. To make the cookie dough base, probably like half an inch above the tray. I like it slightly a little bit thick, but it's really up to you how you want to press it down, how thin of a cookie dough you would like. And for those of men, uh, those of my friends who are just tuning in, hi, my name is Eunice. I'm excited that you are here. I'm also having this look in all your comments. <laughs> hi Gerald, hi Joanna, thank you for tuning in. I see you guys. So for those of you who are just starting, um, starting, starting more plant-based lifestyle, a few tips I would recommend is why not try one meal out of the day to be plant-based, starting with going to your grocery store, stay in the fresh produce section. So your fresh fruits, your fresh vegetable, stay in that section and try to make a meal out of it. Avoid going to the aisle section where there's pre-packaged, ultra-processed and processed food already pre-packaged for you. So stay in the produce, um, produce section, put in your herbs, your spices, bake it, uh, just pan fry it, whichever way that you like, and try to make a meal out of it. That's how I kind of transition into that. 
So my cookie dough is kind of looking like this. I like it rough and edgy. I'm going to put it into the freezer. We're going to let it set for about 10 minutes. And right now we're going to make our chocolate ganache. So I'm heating up. There's a double boiler here. I'm just looking through the comments. Hi, Chi Ching. Chi Ching said hi too. Ooh, thank you, Marissa. Thank you, Joey. Thank you, Grace. Okay. So I'm just heating up. There's a double boiler here. I, my hands are a little dirty, so I'm just going to clean it up really quick. And then we're going to put two tablespoons of coconut oil in here with our chocolate, vegan chocolate, so that it melts fully. While that is melting. Hi, Jesse. Hi, Jesse. Good to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm so excited that all of you guys have joined in. Thank you, Olive Tree, for sponsoring this session. I'm just going to melt the chocolate right now, this vegan chocolate, make it liquidy. I have coconut oil and just chocolate, and that's it. You can opt for no vegan um, option too. That's absolutely fine. So I'm just mixing this up. Once again, for those of my viewers who are just tuning in, hi, I'm so excited that you are here. Earlier, I was mentioning about the Clarity Oil Blend that I received from the Retrieve Kit. The Clarity Oil Blend, for those of my viewers who are tuning in, you might want to know this, you know, am I winking? <laughs> Maybe I'm not winking, but you might want to know that the three, the three key ingredients in the Clarity Oil are damask rose, bergamot, and sandalwood. Uh, these three ingredients are important for you to know for, you know, later on <laughs> by the end of the session so i'm just heating up the chocolate it should melt it up like liquidy like this I'm trying to find where my whisk is on low heat so I'm making it chocolatey Woohoo! it's smelling really good i i love who loves chocolate here i love chocolate well, I love chocolate, but I also love vanilla. Okay. I think I'm just going to turn this off. And once the chocolate is melted like this, like it's liquidy, making sure all the clumps are gone. I'm trying to find where my whisk is, but that's okay. <laughs> just making sure all the chocolate are melted. Alrighty. I'm just going to check. Ooh. I'm just going to look at all your comments of what you guys uh, have mentioned. Hi. Hi, Hannah. Hi, Joey. Go, Gerald. I see you too. Thank you all for tuning in. Alrighty. So once our chocolate are like this, we are going to take our cookie dough out. batch of pre-made cookie dough because it takes about 10 minutes to set but uh, we're gonna pour the chocolate in I'm just gonna use my hand mitten this hand mitten is from my sister in Canada she lives in Canada okay I'm gonna pour the chocolate in Ooh. can you see it Ooh. I love eating this as a dessert before a workout or even a oh, pre-snack, sorry, and then a dessert maybe uh, after my dinner. I'm just spreading it out with a spatula. I have a question now. Where do you usually buy your vegan foods? Um, I can tell you that more. DM me and I'll tell you more where I got my, uh, my vegan foods. But usually I get mostly from the bulk stores. You can check out all the bulk, uh, bulk stores nearby your area. Okay. And then that is it. We're going to pop this back into the freezer for about five to eight minutes. And while that is sitting, we will revisit it for a taste test after our yoga. So if you're ready, let's begin to go to our mat and unwind for the day. 
So let's head to our mats. If this is your first time doing yoga, if something does not feel uncomfortable for you, that's absolutely okay. Take breaks as you need. This is your time and your practice. So come to your mats. Cross your legs together. Sit out long and tall. Plant your palms on your, on your thighs and close your eyes. Take a couple of moments here to unwind and ground yourself. Whatever that has happened before coming to your mat, let it all go. As a community, let's take three deep cleansing breaths together. Deep inhale through the nose. Exhale out. Deep inhale. Exhale out. Bring your palms to your heart center. Place it lightly on your chest. Let's take our last breath here. Deep inhale. Exhale out. Feel your heart beating in this moment. Staying present with the breath. Slowly open your eyes, bring your palms to touch the heart center. Inhale, reach both of your palms to the sky. Exhale, open arm twist towards your left. Bring your left palm on your back and your front palm gently on your knees, your front knee. Gentle pressure and pressing through your opposite knee for a deeper twist towards the back. Deep inhale. Exhale out. Slowly unwind. Come back to center. Palms towards your heart. Inhale. Reach both of your palms up towards the sky. Exhale. Open arm twist to the other side right palm towards your lower back on your mat, front palm on your opposite knee. Gently press into that knee for a deeper twist and to the back. Inhale. Exhale out. Slowly unwind, come back to center. Place both of your palms in front of your mat. Shift your hips forward and come to a tabletop position. Come to all four corners. Stack your elbows over your wrist, your hip over your knees. Long neutral spine, engage your core here. Inhale, cow pose, drop the belly, shine your chest, look towards the front. Exhale, cat pose. Press into your palms, don't let your back, and look to your belly button. Inhale, cat pose. Once again, drop the belly, shine your chest, look forward. Exhale, cat pose. Don't let your back. Press into your palms and look to your belly button. Last cat cow. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, slowly come back to a neutral tabletop. Let's go for some hip circles. So circling your hips in one direction on your own. Decreasing mobility in the hips, loosening any tension there. And then circling in the other direction. Slowly 
slowly come back to a neutral tabletop. Inhale, tuck both of your toes under. Exhale, downward facing dog. Send your hips up and towards the back. Look in between your feet. Press into your palms. Allow your tailbone to be the highest point in this posture. Option to bend both knees to draw your belly closer to your thigh. Extend the spine. Option to paddle up your dog. Bend one knee at a time. To breathe some life into your hamstrings and spine. Slowly come back to your down dog. Walk your palms closer towards your feet. Big bend of both knees. Just gonna stand here for a better view. Allow your upper body to hang heavy here. Grab your elbows. Shift your waist slightly into your toes. Option to sit side to side like a pendulum. Releasing any tension or tightness holding in your body throughout the day. Let it roll off your back. Spend a couple of moments here on your own. And slowly come back to center. Release your palms or your fingertips towards your mat and walk yourself towards your mat and stay right here. Bend both of your knees. Inhale, slowly roll yourself up vertebrae by vertebrae. Allow this movement to be the slowest one yet and allow your head to come up last. Bring your palms towards your heart. Feel your heart beating, coming alive in this moment. Take a couple of moments here. Slowly release your palms by your side. Inhale, mountain pose. Reach both of your arms up overhead. Exhale, gently press your left leg, your left feet over the other. Grab your left wrist. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, side bend. Gently press down on both of your feet. Feeling that side stretch. Rotate that top shoulder open and look towards the ceiling. Slowly unwind and come back to center. Let's go on the other side. Plant your right feet over the other. Grab your right wrist. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, side stretch. Ground down on both feet. Rotate the top shoulder open. And look towards the sky. Slowly come back to center. Unwind yourself. Exhale, forward fold. Bring your palms to heart center. Hinge from your hips. Bring your fingertips down, touching the mat. Inhale, high plank. Walk yourself up to a high plank. Exhale, drop both of your knees down on the mat. Let's lower our belly to the mat. Count down from four, three, two, one. Whew. Untuck both of your toes here. Plant both of your palms in front of you. Stacking your shoulders over your elbows. Gently press down into your palms and shine your chest forward for a supported cobra. Take a couple of moments here. Breathe here. Slowly look past your right shoulder. Go for a deeper twist. Look past towards your back leg. Notice the difference in your body. And come back to center. Let's go on the 
other side. Gently look past your left shoulder. Twist the back of your feet. Notice the difference in your body. Slowly come back to center. Send your elbows out wide. Allow your chin to melt towards the floor. Now flip yourself like a pancake so that the front line of your body is facing towards the sky. Hug both of your knees in towards your chest. Option to gently massage your heel back by rocking from side to side. Gently grab the inner soles of your feet. Inhale, happy baby. Send your knees out wide, nailing your lower body, your lower back towards the mat. Option to sway side to side. Gently massage out your back. When you're ready, hug both of your knees in, come back to center. Extend your left leg out long. Inhale, hug your right knee towards your right rib cage. Exhale, supine twist. Guide your knee across your body. Extend your right arm out long. Keep it gentle, close eyes, gaze towards your right. Allow gravity to do its work here. No need to worry about the screen. Take a couple of moments here on your own. When you're ready, slowly hug both of your knees in, return back to center. Let's go down the other side, extend your right leg out long. Hug your left knee into your left rib cage. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, supine twist. Guide your knee across your body. Extend your left arm out long. Keep it close. Eyes gaze towards your left. Allow gravity to do its work here. Take a few moments to stay present. back to center, hug both of your knees in, and slowly rock and roll yourself up to a seat. Cross your legs, sit out long and tall, and close your eyes. We'll close our practice with three salutations. Inhale, reach both of your arms up overhead. Bring your palm to touch. Exhale, bring your palms to heart center. Two more times. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, palms to heart center. Last time. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bring your palms to heart center. Slowly bring your thumbs to your third eye center. The light and love and teacher in me acknowledges the same light and love and teacher in each and every one of you. Together we bow. Namaste. Type in the comments on your feedback on how you're feeling right now. Or send an emoji. I would love to hear from you. 
for all of my viewers who are tuning in still. Oh, we have to, we got a taste test, right? <laughs> so this is what the vegan cookie dough looks like. Thanks, Dad. It's my dad. So like I said, we'll revisit for a taste test after. Let me just switch up the music for a little bit. I'm gonna take one. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. I wish I could share it with you guys. Mm. It's good. Alrighty, for my viewers who are still here, it is time. Did it? It is time for the free giveaway. So here is my question. Post it to you for those of you who have been tuning in. Have been tuning in. What are the three key ingredients in the Clarity Essential Oil. I've mentioned it before, once again, what are the three key ingredients in the Clarity Essential Oil? Type in the comments, I would love to hear from you. The first who can name all three correctly will win the free giveaway. Oh, oh wait, let's see who is it chops, uh, Chopstick chopstick Sisters? You got it right, Chopstick Stickers. You have won the free giveaway from the Olive, the olive Tree, uh, from the Olive Tree Company. They sponsor your free giveaway, which will be the Blissful Mind Kit. It's a free diffuser, a clarity essential oil, and a single pass to the Flow Studio. So I'm so excited. Sorry, I'm reading all the comments too. I'm so excited. Congratulations to you, Chopstick Stickers. I see you. Great listening, tuning in. We will DM you for more details. Congratulations once again. For those of you who are still tuning in to this IGTV Live, thank you for joining me. And I'm, I hope you enjoy the vegan cookie dough, vegan demo, and also the unwinding of yoga flow for tonight. Send in your feedbacks. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I'm just looking through the comments. Woohoo! Thank you, Jesse. Thank you, Chloe. Thank you, Aubrey. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you so much for joining in. I see you. Hi. Thank you, Mimi. I see you too. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you to you all for tuning in. Especially thank you for the Olive Tree for sponsoring this session. Um, I asked, hi Amanda. The recipe will be posted on later on um, on the IGTV. So, oh, you guys feel relaxed. I'm glad I uh, the yoga helped you feel relaxed. So that is it. That is the end of our 30 minutes. Thank you so much for all of you who are tuning in. Don't forget to hydrate yourself, nourish yourself with some nourishing and wholesome meals. I know it's about 8.30 right now, but thank you for tuning in and have a good night, everybody. Thank you for joining in. I'm just reading on all your comments right now. Oh, thank you all for tuning in. Thank you, Carolyn. Thank you, Nadia. I see you. I'm so excited. Awesome. Thank you so much. Once again, thank you so much. We'll close our session soon. Have a good night, everybody. It's the end of our session. I hope to see you the next time. Good night, everybody.